Hey guys, it's Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. This is a very, very short video. I, it's a correction video. Um, I had one of the cam manufacturers, or I shouldn't say cam manufacturers, I had a salesman um, contact me about the information I put about the comparison between a band lifter and a morel lifter, and that about this oil hole, and um, he said I was wrong, and I am wrong. And I actually had someone comment on it and said that too, but I didn't entirely believe all that either but i went ahead and checked and i will i admit i was wrong so what i'm talking about if you watch the other video of the bam versus morel you see that hole there that was under an assumption that it sprayed oil from that hole down on the lobe um wrong but i will say this and i didn't make this up for any specific purpose um i wasn't trying to lie to the public if you put these in these are morel ultra pose if you ever put them in, for instance, like in a big block, the windows of the block is cut out so you can easily see the lifters. When you prime it, it dumps oil across. It's easy to see that it's dumping oil. So my assumption was it was coming from here. Now my assumption is that the oil is actually coming out from the um, each side of the, lip, the roller itself and dumping over this. Now I know some of you are like, well, why did you say that? I thought, assumed it came from here because it would make sense. Why would you have a hole there? Well... What I've done here is this is a welding wire. The hole is actually at the top here, and it goes down to here. Now, I was told that the way they manufacture it, they just have a laser that cuts the straight hole through, then they put the axle through and it blocks the oil hole. And that is, of course, true. So I was wrong in that fact. However, there's no doubt that these spray more oil um, across the axles. And you could say, well, that's good. It keeps the bearings you know, intact. And everything runs well that is correct but now these are a set of iskies i switched from a set of isky red zones these are just some i just had here just for demonstration but i the ones i'd had were black and i don't know if um the, what these are but i switched from an isky red zone exact same lifter body everything very similar to these except for they were black switched to an ultra pro and an engine uh, for a customer because uh, we pulled some out and we were checking and the lifter had, it wasn't that it wasn't rolling right. It had some parts where it had lost some lamination and only on one lifter. And in all fairness, at that point it had something like 110 runs on it and a lot of street miles. So I was like, well, um, let's do some Morel Ultra Pros. They're the best that you can get that's reasonable and adjustables, of course, for the better, but whatever. So I switched from an ISKI and put these in. It lost 5 PSI, PSI of oil pressure at idle and throughout the entire range. Well, I shouldn't say through the entire range. 5 PSI of oil, once it was up to a certain RPM, the oil pump can, of course, overcome that. And it went it went from there. From that point on, the engine, um, I think it did another, I think, 200, 250 runs. And some more street miles as well. It sends back in here for a refresh, and the lifters look fine. So as far as the quality from around lifters, they really have done well. Except for, I will say that the customer did complain, and rightfully so, um, that the oil pressure at idle was scaring him. And I will say, for many customers, when they see it get you know below 20 at idle at the same time when they were having 25, and now they're just at barely at 20, it scares them. Okay, um, didn't do any damage to the engine though, because it came back and checked everything out, and everything's fine. It's getting refreshed right now, but. Uh, point being is you will lose oil pressure and the reason why is because it's dumping more oil over there and just like my original video i did say if you dump more oil you're putting more oil where the crankshaft is and that's going to create more windage and you are going to lose power because of the excess windage so that didn't change now you might say that video was between bam and morel look several people are like why don't you take them apart i'm not going to take apart a lifter why because i don't have well i guess i can I don't have a spare set just sitting here where I could disassemble them and take them apart to use. Every set I buy is used for something. And I will say every engine that I have of my own, the Camaro has got a Morel 904 Ultra Pros, the S10, which that one is probably the better test for the Morels themselves. It's a stock block, 842 diameter, um, standard on lifter, but they're Morel Ultra Pros. The sister that's my sis my sister's engine that's the morel street version of the hydraulic rollers but it's only because i couldn't get the howards because i don't care you just because people don't return them doesn't mean it's not true the morel hydraulic roller lifters the race version are loud um some may have got quieter ones but i have more people calling to tell me that they're loud than they have people tell me how quiet they are 
Um, so anyway, however, most of the stuff I sell is solid rollers. The problem right now with Morels, you can't get them. There's one supplier, maybe two suppliers that can even get any. So that's part of it. I have no problem with BAM. If you try call Morel, good luck. I want you to talk to the actual person from Morel. Good luck. Um, I can call BAM and I will get Brad. Brad's customer service is on point. He talks to me and if I ask a question, he's there. So um, customer service is still there. However, I, the reason why I made this video is in between so much Morel and um, BAM or any other lifter, it's to say that I was wrong about that oil passage. However, I'm still right that it dumps a ton of oil. Um, if you ever get a chance, you got a big block. Small block Chevy is much harder to see. Maybe on the SHP blocks you could see them because they've also got the notch. Don't put on your intake manifold. Put your Morel lifters in or any lifter you want. Prime the system and see how much oil it's dumping over it. Now, it may make the bearing last longer, of course, but oil pressure drop scares people. Just go straight up say it. If you've been building engines long enough and you give them to a customer and they say low oil, low oil pressure at idle, it scares them I'm straight up. Uh, but anyway, not this. Not that it's the worst thing, but I'm just telling you, you're going to lose at least five pounds. Um, anyway, uh, short video. I have a longer video, not about this at all, about the LS head. Did some more research. Hopefully, that'll be out tonight, but I wanted to clear this up. Again, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Um, I made a mistake. I was wrong. There you go.